all right guys what's going on welcome back to top line it's your boy chris and um happy super bowl sunday man um y'all know I'm, I'm dropping my predictions in a bit um for that game but first man there's a couple things i've been so caught up if you find the basketball channel go check that out man i've been so caught up with the nba drafts and uh, everything going on on the NBA side. I've been a little bit behind on my football side. But, hey, man, y'all know we in here. We're going to make up for a day, baby. We're going in today, baby. Uh, first of all, though, let's get this out of the way. And I was attempting to get this video done prior, man. Um, Jimmy Johnson, because, you know, I made the video about um, Jerry Jones talking about the Eagles and trying, pretty much saying the Eagles and the Rams, you know, they emptied their bucket according to him. You know, um, they have, you know, they have nothing – um, you know, it's like they gave up everything to get a chance at Super Bowl. Now they ain't got nothing left. You know, Jerry said he he taking a long term view. Bro, you're 180. What long term view are we talking about? Anyway, Jimmy Johnson said that um he had the owner from the Philadelphia Eagles called him and like and was like, what is he talking about? And Jimmy Johnson um says, I have no idea what he's talking about but and he broke it down very elegantly when he said you know the eagles got the 10 pick then they got the 14 pick so they're they gonna at least have three picks in the first round in the first round this year after making all the all the additions and what people don't understand is they didn't give up a bunch of draft capital like they only person they really traded for what well, they get they got ready and they got um they got um aj brown Rest of those, um, like the, the Dominic and Susan guy with Frazier signings. Um, so Jimmy Johnson pretty much was saying, like, you know, like, is Jerry Jones paying attention? Because everyone want to put the Eagles, and I can't believe I'm sitting up here defending the Philadelphia Eagles, Lord have mercy. But everyone, everybody want to put the, the Eagles in the Rams category. And the Rams did what they could, did put all their chips in the, on the table to win that Super Bowl. And it, and it cost them, but they got Super Bowl. Hey, Jerry, could you please put all our chips on the table so we can get a damn Super Bowl? I'll take one, just one. The hell, man? Um, But he's pretty much saying that the Eagles are the Rams, that's just not the case. If there was a way to go all in and do it smartly, they did it. Guess the one of the biggest thing they did, though? And I don't think they get enough props. I don't think they get enough credit for this one. They did it while... Excuse me, guys. They did it while the young quarterback was on the rookie deal. Yeah, he gonna get his money eventually, but they did it while he was on the rookie deal. Really, help you? Um, yes, can I get an island green, please? Okay, that's it. Hold around. Thank you. Um, so he they did it while Jalen Hurts is on his rookie deal, they maximized the talent around him, gave him every opportunity to win. And they in the Super Bowl, though. They playing today, the they playing today the while we sitting at the crib talking about, huh? Let me see, I am. I got a long-term vow. They in the Super Bowl, dog. And they got they got more draft picks than you in the first. So how you gonna talk? How you talking about them? See, the the days of everyone just buying whatever the Cowboys has been selling. It's like we're wrecked. It's like even Cowboy Nation. We love the Cowboys, right? But we a lot of us starting to pick up on, on a lot of this crap, man. You know, like the whole announcing of Keller Moore right after the Eagles. We know what you're doing. And, okay, if you want to do that while you're winning championships, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, look what we did. But no, dog. You're talking about a team going to the Super Bowl. You're trying to steal headlines from a team going to the Super Bowl. And 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 I got to get the Eagles their props for exactly doing exactly. If there's a way to, to stack your team, they did it. But guess what? Jordan Davis was drafted. Javante Smith was drafted. Jalen Hurts was drafted. You trying to you? They trying to paint this narrative. Damn, I'm out here defending the Philadelphia. Oh, I'm out here defending the Philadelphia Eagles. Boy, that don't feel right. But it, I, I gotta agree with Jimmy Johnson on this, man, because 
I, it just, it's like, I think Jerry has hit that point in life where it's like, dog, you just delusional now. Just stop. Like, your moves ain't calculated no more. You know, like, you know, when you get old, you start moving a little slower. That's how I feel like Jerry Jones is at right now. Moves a little slower. He's not thinking. Now, we all know Jimmy Johnson and Jerry Jones don't have the best relationship, right? We all know Jimmy Johnson and Jerry Jones don't have the best relationship, even though they try to pretend it. They, they cordial. You too. We all know they don't have the best relationship as they try to be, but they try to be cordial. They try, they try to be cordial. Um, But Jerry Jones pretty much is the reason why this team is the way they are due to the fact that he thought that he wasn't getting enough credit for what the Cowboys was doing. But when they was bad, he felt like he got all the blame, couldn't put his ego aside, and got rid of the best coach in Cowboys history. But during his tenure, right? We, we talking about Tom Landry now. That's, that's, that's back there. But we talking about during Jerry Jones' tenure, the best coach he had by far was Jimmy Johnson. It, it's frustrating as a Cowboy fan when you just see all these little games being played it's, it's, it's literally about more about like and this is the thing the one thing as a cowboy fan and even if he wasn't a cowboy fan the one thing you know the dallas cowboy was gonna take a swing for it you look at the Deion sanders the charles haley back in the day they taking a swing for it though they going for it they were like hey man this this right here can get us a chip we're gonna we're gonna do what we gotta do hey take his whole salary and make it a signing bonus <laughs> You know, let's find a way to manipulate the gap in a way to, to benefit us. It was about winning. It was about winning. It wasn't so much about the headlines. And I think that's where the frustration come in at right now. That's where the frustration comes in at. Because, yeah, the Cowboys were flamboyant. Well, you want to say it. Yeah, they got in trouble. But they won. And were moves made to win. Now... Now the Cowboys gonna steal all the headlines and do the and, and 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 do the minimum to win. I just really don't. I I I don't. I don't know where to go. Um. Far as the Cowboys. Um. But just like the Cowboy players, I know why I'm, I'm going today to my couch and watch the Super Bowl and have to endure the Philadelphia Eagles playing in the Super Bowl again and can't do nothing but give them props for being there if you don't like it do something about it jerry or shut up talking with that being said man please like comment subscribe to the channel till next time you guys be great man.